Welcome watch enthusiasts, and this is Time Measured. My name is DK, and today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite watches in my collection, and that is the Hamilton Khaki Field Auto, 38 millimeters. Reference number H70455733. Now Hamilton is a well-known and well-respected Swiss watch brand particularly here in North America, in Canada and the United States. Now it was founded in 1892 in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where it made many of its watches for the US military for almost a hundred years. And in 1969, it moved its operations fully to Switzerland. Now, today I'm going to be going over seven categories of this watch. One, the visual appeal and wrist presence. Two, the dial and crystal. Three, case and bezel. Four, the caliber and movement. Five, crown and winding action. Six, style and performance and versatility. And last, value. And while I go through these seven categories, I will mention the three winning features that I think make this watch a must have in your collection. So let's start with visual appeal and wrist presence. Well, the first thing you look at when you see a watch is the look. Is the watch visually appealing to you? And in this case, it certainly is. This watch definitely has a great look and visual appeal to the eye that I think will catch any watch enthusiast. As far as wrist presence is concerned, it does look very good on the wrist. So there you have it. Looks very nice. Has an awesome look and a great wrist presence. Now let's take a look at the dial in crystal. Now for me, the dial is definitely one of the winning features that I think this watch has. Now just look at the dial. Well, first of all, you have a slightly domed sapphire crystal. Which looks very nice. Now some people might give it a knock because it might lack, um, you know, anti-reflective coating. Um, but that is a minor scuff in my book. Now what really gets my attention is the dial. The dial is just amazing to look at. I mean, first of all, the matte black dial just looks amazing in contrast to the white markings of the numerals and lettering on the dial. I mean, it's just, everything just looks perfect about it. Now in the outer ring, you have a 60 minute slash 60 second track going around. Then you have your Arabic numerals, 12 hour dial. And as well, you also have a 20, 24 hour dial within the 12 hour dial which is always appreciated, especially if you are into um, military time. And this is a field watch. You have the words Hamilton right under the 24 and then khaki and automatic just below the hands. Now, one of the 
beautiful features that I like about the dial is the second hand. If you notice, it's red tipped. And that just stands out as soon as you look at the dial. And um, in my opinion, is it just adds a certain je ne sais quoi to the watch. Um, I just love the red tip and I wish more, more watch brands would um, accent uh, the second hand like this. Um, you don't see very many watches that accent the second hand with a red tip, but um, it does make it look attractive and it makes you look at the second hand as it sweeps across the dial very nicely. Now the hour and minute hands are white marked and they are loomed as well. Okay, so since we're talking about the dial, let's have a look at the loom. Now, on the onset, the loom looks pretty good. The loom is uh, definitely decent and satisfactory. As you can see, the hour and minute hands are loomed. The 12 hour dial is loomed as well. As well as you have these little pips or dots around the 12 hour dial that are loomed. Now, a lot of people give Hamilton a knock for their loom because Hamilton is not really known for having great loom. Certainly if you compare it to like something like the Seiko. Um, but you're not buying like this watch for its loom. Um, however, it is satisfactory and decent. Um, I wish it would last longer. The only knock I would say against the loom is that it, it doesn't last long. Um, as you can see, it's I just charged it and already it's uh, fading considerably. So that's the dial and crystal. Next, we're gonna look at the case and bezel. The case is stainless steel. It's also 38 millimeter case diameter. We have a 20 millimeter lug width. Uh, the case is brushed, but the dial is polished. And I think the polished dial just adds a certain class to the watch that um, makes the watch very versatile. It almost gives it a dressy appeal to it. You turn around the back, you have an open case back where you can see the movement. Words Sapphire Crystal, Swiss made, 8704450, water resistant. 10 bars or 100 meter water resistance, 145 PSI, and the words stainless steel. And there you have the movement at the back, looking beautiful. Sign movement with Hamilton, 25 joules. And one thing I forgot to mention in terms of the case, um, lug to lug, which is here to here, is 47 millimeters. Since we're looking at the case back, the next category we're going to discuss is the caliber or movement. Now, this watch sports a at a 2824-2, which gives us. Uh, 38 hour, hour power reserve now this is the second winning feature um, for me about this watch is the movement first it was the dial and the overall look of that of the watch second is the movement the movement is good there's nothing to complain about this movement at all we do have hacking so when you pull out the crown, it stops. And what I like about this movement and any good movement that a watch would have is that when you set the time, 
you want to see that date switch right at the 12. Bam. This even switched probably two or three seconds before. I love seeing that. And to me, that's the sign of a great movement. When you see that date switch right at the 12, like the snap of a finger, you know you're working with a good movement. Other watches that might have the date wheel switch an hour or two or three hours after the 12, eh, you know you're not working with a good movement. The crown is actually the third winning feature for me in this watch. It's a signed crown, see the Hamilton H, very nice. Now what I like about this crown is that it's large. It's big and easy to grab onto. I hate thin crowns where you can't, where you have to struggle to grab the crown and wind it. But this is very easy to grab. And of course the winding action is very satisfying. I love winding the crown on this watch. Very good. The next category I forgot to mention that I should have put on my list is the braceleted strap. Now, this particular version sports a black leather strap, which is 20 millimeters at the lug and tapers down to 18 millimeters at the buckle. Of course, the buckle is signed by Hamilton. In terms of the quality of the strap, the quality of this leather strap is very good. Um, I like it. Um, it's nothing to complain about. What I like about this leather strap, and it's a personal thing for me, is I like thick leather straps. Now I've heard some minor complaints from people saying that the strap might be a little too um, stiff. Um, but of course, you know, if it's new, it's going to be that. Handcrafted leather. Um, but it works in very nicely and it's a good quality strap. Nothing to complain about. If you prefer the bracelet, then there is a bracelet option. And the stainless steel bracelet is a very good quality. Um, you won't complain about it at all. So if you have a chance to get the stainless steel bracelet, get it. Um, but if you prefer leather straps, um, you'll have no complaints about this leather strap. There's also a version where it comes in a brown leather strap as well. Now I'm gonna talk about the style, the performance, and versatility. As you guys may know, this is a field watch. And as far as field watches are concerned, this is regarded by many to be one of the top, if not the best field watches um, that you can buy for the money. Um, this is an excellent field watch to have. It's also offered in a 42 millimeter case size if you prefer the larger size. Um, but you'll have nothing to complain about if you get the 38 millimeters. So this is a great field watch um, and it performs very well. This is an everyday watch. You can wear this watch on an everyday basis and have no complaints. As mentioned before, um, I love the dial and just look at the legibility. This is probably one of the most easiest to read dials out there. You'll have no problem looking down and looking at the time and seeing what time it is. It's just absolutely amazing. And what this, what makes this watch also versatile is the polished bezel. 
Um, like I said earlier, it, it, it gives this watch uh, a very, a, a dressy look as well. So this is a field watch, but it does have a dressy type of appeal to it where you could, you could, you could get away with wearing this watch with a nice dress shirt for sure. And last category is value. Value, I believe on the Hamilton website, this watch is going for 650 US dollars. Um, and of course on the gray market, you can purchase this watch for anywhere between four to $500. As for me, I live in Canada and particularly in Toronto and I purchased this watch on the gray market for $500. So this is a great value proposition. For what you're getting, you're getting a solid, very good quality field watch with an outstanding movement, a sapphire crystal, and a very stylish, and versatile watch. It's an excellent everyday watch. It's a beautiful dial. Red tip second hand, can't go wrong. One thing I forgot to mention is the case width. It's 10 millimeters. And that adds to the overall versatility of, of this watch because the case width is very thin. And so what I love about this watch is it, it adds to the overall feel of the watch. When you wear this on your wrist, it wears very low just due to the thinness of it. So you'll have no problems sliding this watch under the cuff of a dress shirt. This is awesome. This is a great watch. Overall, folks, I know this was a long review, but if you're watching this video wondering whether you should get this watch or not, this is a perfect watch to add to your collection. It's a great field watch, great quality watch, and there's not too much you can say wrong about this. There's also 42 millimeter options as well as bracelet. So there's a lot of value for the money here. Well, I'm gonna end it off there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the close-up details of this watch. Make sure you like, smash the like and subscribe button if you like the content. I'd love to hear from you. Well, that's it for me, folks. Until the next one, take care.